Just as we were kind of getting our legs under us and adjusting to having four kids, Lou had a seizure for the first time when he was eight months old. It was, I thought, the scariest day of my life. We were looking down the barrel of six week waits and Joe Sullivan at UCSF said, I'll see this child and I'll see him on Friday. I realized that epilepsy is very common in the field of pediatric neurology. It's been an exciting time in the last 10 years. We've seen advances, but we still have a long way to go because there are a lot of children that have significant unmet needs. I can see the impact diagnoses have on families. Obviously our family has been directly affected by epilepsy because it really is about getting through each day. This is not just one isolated problem. It has arms and legs and tentacles. Monica, her seizure started at the age of five. We had to watch her at all times. I had to stop working. I can't tell you how many uh, marriages I've seen fall apart. He's been in occupational therapy, developmental therapy, speech therapy. We had to go to the food bank to eat. He now needs an aid with him for safety's sake. I lost sleep at night. We need to do a better job and take care of the entire patient, which also means the entire family. It wasn't a huge stretch to imagine a core team of four to five people uh, that could come together and really uh, provide this type of support when they would come to a pediatric epilepsy center of excellence. The center can help with marriage counseling, therapeutic sessions, child care, a genetic counselor, a way to get a full night's sleep. We have a, a pediatric psychiatrist that's embedded in our epilepsy clinic. There's so many different pieces of it that could really improve lives for patients and families. Supporting the Pediatric Epilepsy Center of Excellence is very, very core for us. We've been so lucky to get to know Dr. Sullivan and have benefited from that kind of care. And he is the exact sort of person and doctor that you want at the helm of an effort like this because he has the vision. He actually lives the vision every day. The need for the center is to scale that and to fill in underneath him and give him the resources so that more families can have the experience that we have. We have a wonderful social worker that works with us part-time. She is able to help them utilize community-based resources. That's when started helping out with the bills and so we can have food into the home and pay the electricity bill. We've also been fortunate to be able to hire an educational liaison that allows children's best educational interests to be represented so that they don't fall through the cracks. The most important support I can offer to a child and their family is to first let them know what their rights are and what they can expect from a school. I will train the family to advocate for themselves. Then they are able to advocate for that child for the rest of their life. The education liaisons helped out quite a bit. We had a representative from the hospital on the phone and so no one was gonna mess with us. She's gonna be able to graduate on track. We have 5% uh, time of a child psychiatrist and a 50% uh, support for an education liaison. And we can see the impact that that has had. By helping with this effort, you can make life better for so many families. With additional support that could bring on these additional personnel, we could really become a model of comprehensive epilepsy care that everyone in the country would be truly envious of. So give peace a chance. <laughs>